When you make a quiz in Camtasia Studio, you get the results through email, and in that email you get a little link. And the link brings you to this dashboard right here, and this dashboard has all of my quiz results in it that I have given. And if you click right here on the summary button, it brings you to the results for this quiz. You'll see here that you have a button that you can download a detailed report and also a summary report. And you might want to open up this data in Excel to get whatever you need from it. This first screen is the summary screen. And I'll tell you that I don't use this screen a ton. The reason being it gives you averages of everything. And for instance, when I preview my video to make sure everything's working, oftentimes I'll go through again before class, I throw in a bunch of really low percentiles in there um, in terms of what percentage of the video I actually watched. And so that really messes things up a bit. And sometimes a student will go back in and preview it again, or they will have started a video and then had to stop the video and come back to it, or sometimes their video times out. So I don't find the summary screen to be the most useful thing for me, but it might be for you. What I do use a lot is the viewer and the questions tab. And so the viewer tab allows me to sort things. I can sort them by last name if I want to go through and see who has watched this video. And like I just mentioned, you see, for instance, this student here had to log in twice. Maybe their computer kicked them off because they logged in at really similar times or something like that. And so they did actually watch the entire video, but it was split into two little reports. So you do have to be careful of that, but I've gotten used to it and it's no problem. I love this quiz content watch. It really gives me the ability to see if the student has sat down and watched the whole thing through without skipping through a bunch of the video. This data is just really nice to have in terms of helping students with accountability, especially my ninth and 10th grade algebra two students. I actually give them about two or three days a week. I give them a zero or a one in my grade book that I publish to them. And so that tells them, you know, I'm, I'm making sure that you're watching your video. And it's been really, really helpful to have this data for them. Another nice feature is having the time that they watch the video. For a student who maybe isn't doing as well and you might notice that they're watching the video really late at night, that can be a great conversation to have with them. The questions tab tells you all the questions and actually when I start class I usually put this on my projector and we go over any questions that were difficult for the class. Within these questions you can see the multiple choice answers that you gave so the particle is moving right if and I can see that most students got this right and had no difficulty on it, but a couple students had some difficulty. And I can go through the report and see who had difficulty with it and maybe go to them at the beginning of class and make sure that they're understanding it now. Another thing that might be good is if there was a really difficult question that you gave and maybe only four students in the class got the right answer, maybe they could be your student leader. So it could be really good for grouping also. And then I have this question. And this was a short answer question. And I asked students to summarize a difficult topic that I had explained because I wanted them to kind of put it in their own words and think it through. And um, they've gotten really good at doing this type of question and knowing that I'm reading it. And that oftentimes just starts a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that student. And um, again, you'll see that the student popped up twice. And that's probably because she had to log in twice for one reason or another. So you do need to be a little bit careful about that. But all in all, using the quizzing and using these statistics has been so helpful in my class. The video, it pauses when these quizzes pop out at the students. It allows them to really know what is important. It allows me to ask a question again when, you know, that's something that I kind of missed. I wanted to ask a question and I couldn't really get the response before class and now I can. So this has been huge for me.